Hello, welcome to Shad Life. I am thinking I'm gonna go to Crow River BMX and race this bike on Wednesday evening. They have that new USA BMX mountain bike class and a bunch of people are chatting about going there. So I'm thinking I might go. Um, so I wanna convert this bike back to single speed. I did a video not too long ago putting gears on it. I rode this bike um, quite a few places, but mainly this last weekend I was three days in Cuyuna running the geared configuration and so on and so forth. But now I want to convert it back to a single speed because that's my preference for racing a BMX track. Yes, I could race it with gears, but I know what gear ratio I want. And so I'm just going to set it up with that gear ratio and then go hit the track. And then I don't have to worry about shifting gears or anything like that while I'm at the track or trying to find that ideal gear or whatever. So let's go ahead and convert this over. Hopefully it's pretty seamless like I thought. I should be able to take this off all in one piece. Pop the grip off, pop the shifter off of here, undo these um, bolts. Uh, and then I have zip ties here. I wanna get those little clamps. I can't find any, but I could just pop the clamps on there, then I don't have to keep wasting zip ties. But for now, I'll clip off the zip ties, take the derailleur off, and the whole thing should come off as one unit. Then I just have to take the cassette off, keep that all together, and put it aside, and then throw my single speed cog on here. I want to swap back to my blue chain ring just because I like it. It's cool. And then that's not really part of this because I could just run this chain ring, but I want that blue. And then um, once I make that switch, this thing's ready to go as a single speed and I should be able to do it pretty quickly. So let's see. First things first, I'll be able to pop the chain off on here, which should be pretty straightforward. There we go. And I gotta switch out to a different chain anyway. This is a Shimano 12 speed chain. So now that that's off, right, I'm going to set that aside for now. I can just take the whole system off of there. So grab my little, uh, oh, I need my grip one first. Take the grip off. This is what's nice about clamp-on grips versus the old school um, slide-on grips that you used to have to use like some type of hairspray or whatever you used to use back in the day. Now go ahead and pop off. I'm assuming the brake lever is outside so I gotta slide that off first. Now we take this off. Find that right, there we go. Now, I might as well slide the brake lever back on while I'm at it and put the grip back on. <laughs> Why not, right? I'll get that dialed in later. Um, and then now I wanna remove the rear derailleur from the frame. And this is why I had to take the chain off first because otherwise doing this part would be kind of challenging. Now all of this is just hanging there. So I'm gonna grab, I forget what size it is. I'm gonna say it's this size. Huh. Great first guess, right? That one's free. I 
that's disconnected. Oh, this is where it's going to be a pain. And that's disconnected. All right, now I just get a little wire cutters here. Snip, snip. These are, this is where I don't want to be so wasteful. So I want to get those little clips, but for now, wow, this one's being a pain. There it go. This whole system comes right off. <laughs> so there you go. So I can just pop that back on and then my shifter and derailleur are on there and then put the chain back on. Um, we'll go ahead and set this aside right over here on the floor. It's fine with me for now. Keep all these, well, these are the broken zip ties. Keep all these parts together because I'll put them in a little basket. <laughs> Right? So now, I just have to remove the rear wheel, pop the cassette off, and then put um, the single speed cog on there. Okay, here we go. There we have it. Pop this cassette off. I gotta go that way, so that means I have to do the chain whip this way. Probably, whoop, the wrong way. All right, there we go. Probably the most uh, criticism that I've ever had on my channel is that I had my spanner the other way when doing this on my <laughs> one of my builds and it really when you're not having to really torque that hard it doesn't really matter but why people made such a big deal out of that I don't even know if you can see well wow. is that already kind of nope. no it's not yep it's already kind of locked on there um, is interesting because it's aluminum so I gotta pop that off just a second so it's kind of surprising is there's already grooves getting in the cassette body from <laughs> that cassette I, I can see why SRAM came out with the XD driver because <laughs> this system Not the greatest. All right. So now that I got that off, I'm all ready to start converting this back to single speed. So let's do that. So some of you might know that I was running a 17 on there, but that's a little too spinny for the BMX track. So I'm going to run the 16 tooth wolf tooth brand new um, on there. And that'll give me that ideal BMX racetrack gear ratio of 55 gear inches when you account for a 27.5 rear wheel, 32 front cog, 16 rear. Okay, so I got my spacers on there, throw the cog on there, uh, throw more spacers. I believe I tried to lay these out so the cog would be centered pr properly. And then I'll just reuse the same uh, lock ring get that all locked on there so we'll just go ahead and get this cog back on there i want to crank that down pretty tight because i can always undo it with the chain whip and make sure that's not going to come loose uh, i don't know about the red in there but whatever <laughs> and then Basically, <laughs> that's done. Grab my through axle, throw this back in there. And 
Now I have to throw, I could just throw my chain on there at this moment and run with it, but I do want to swap this uh, sprocket back to the blue one just for the looks aspect of it. So I can give me any performance gain or anything. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't need to film that part. Then once I have that uh, new uh, front chain ring on there or sprocket, sometimes I call it. I generally, if it's a one piece, I tend to call it a sprocket. If it's just the outer ring, I call it a chain ring, but everybody calls these chain rings now. So, um, so there, I'll switch that to the blue one and then we'll go ahead and pop the other chain on and then we're golden. Okay, now all we got left is the chain. Make sure this is on the outside and correct. Probably doesn't matter so much in a single speed application, but do it anyway. So we'll first find the reach. Make sure it's good. And it's actually a little too close. And the reason is, is I had a 17 and I went down to a 16. So once I get the chain on there, I'll have to move the rear wheel back slightly. Which is not a big deal. Let's get this quick link together. Now I just need to move the wheel back. So moving the wheel back, I actually went through and showed how this works with the Esker hardtails. Basically loosen these guys. And what I do is I do a half a turn each side, find the right one. So half a turn. Half a turn, I do this just to keep the wheel in alignment. And I do it until the chain gets the right tension. There we go, that's about right. Good chain tension on there. So once that's done, I'm just gonna double check, make sure everything's centered, make sure everything's spaced about right. I can also check this gap here and this gap here, make sure they're the same. And then I'll go and crank these back down. I just get them pretty snug. I don't worry about torque because I know with these chain tensioners that wheel's not going to move forward on me. We are officially converted to single speed. <laughs> I'll have to kind of look to see how long that actually took me because when filming I have to stop and change things and whatever whatever so it takes a little longer when filming but I think if I was to just focus on this and I wasn't filming for YouTube I would be able to knock that off in it for sure less than 15 minutes um, that was pretty pretty quick and easy um, and so this bike's ready to go I just have to reset up my brake lever, line it up with the other one and tighten my grip and it's good to go. So there you have it. Um, I like this idea that I can just easily swap this bike back and forth um, from single speed to 12 speed. And I can also just swap out the cogs. So for like a BMX track, I'm gonna run the 16 tooth, but that, it's gonna be way too hard of a gear for mountain biking. So I'll go back to the 17 and I'm thinking of maybe even getting an 18 or 19 tooth for maybe doing some single speeding in Cuyuna. So 
There you have it. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Sweet. Appreciate your support for my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.